everybody, Daryl with Trophy Seekers Outdoor again, here to give you a update on what we are doing right now. It's been a couple of weeks since we've been able to put out a video, but today we are talking about everything Skipjack. Uh, Skipjack are running right now, it's spring. Uh, we are just hit the first week of April, and man alive, I've been out there trying to catch a bunch of Skipjack myself, just like everybody else has. Been lucky and caught us a bunch of them, hopefully. Uh, we'll catch a bunch more. I want to bring a bunch of bait to the gathering and be able to give to the people that's out there coming from out of state that needs bait where they won't have to go buy a bunch or pay a lot of money for it. I'm going to try to give a bunch of it out. So today I'm going to talk about how I catch skipjack, what I use, uh, the rods and all that stuff, and also how I freeze my skipjack. I've got three coolers for the skipjack right now. Yesterday uh, evening, went out and myself and Russ, uh, my buddy, we went out and man, we got on the skipjack. And I'll tell you uh, a little bit about what we use and, and how we determine how, what we use. Uh, yesterday was one of those days where uh, I used a rod that had three different colors on it because I didn't know what they were gonna be hitting. So I had a silver spoon on the bottom of it a uh, yellow or chartreuse hair jig uh, done by Double Hook Angling. Uh, man, I tell you what, he ties up some awesome, awesome jigs. I asked him to tie me up some custom jigs and I told him specifically what I wanted. Uh, I got 3 8 jigs because I, a lot of times uh, when you're fishing that heavier current, you want it to get down there a little deeper. So I used some heavy, I said 3 eighths, I think they're 3 sixteenths jigs. I had him tie me up some chartreuse, some white, and several blue. I have a lot of good luck on blue also. And had him put some silver in there also. Hopefully, you can see all those right here. If you want some great hair jigs, call for sure double hook angling. Double hook angling. Uh, you can get them on Facebook. I think it's doublehookangling.com. Try out the jigs. All you gotta do is tell him what you want, and I'll guarantee you he'll get them right up for you. Also, I get jigs from uh, my rubber plastic jigs. Uh, I get all different one of these. Thompson Outdoors and more. And, uh, they're hitting the plastics. I've got all different color plastics here. That's where I get my plastic jigs for Thompson Outdoors and Moors. You can get with them Carnival Clown Farts. That's what this one is, Carnival Clown Farts. Uh, this one here is uh, Crappy Slayer Silver Milk. Uh, this one right here is Quick Silver. And this one is nuclear clown farts so they got some crazy names but they really work so guys you'll get them and also i use uh like i say the one ounce and these are called game changers that i get from uh, thompson's outdoor and more right out from watts bar down three miles east and uh, you tie this to your string and then you can just hook different rigs on the swivel here so uh you can look at this right here and see it and uh, they give this one's actually a one and a half. This one is a one ounce. Uh, you can get half ounce, but they're a little cool deal where you just can hook up different rigs on. It. And of course, spoons. I use the spoons. I have a white. These are catfish sumo spoons. Uh, the silver, hot pink. And uh, chartreuse. And you get these in double hooks or the single hooks. I have both. And uh, man, I tell you what, we caught some fish on these yesterday. I mean, 96 of them. I use a uh, mono line. Catfish Sumo, it's a, it's a, uh, it doesn't have much stretch to it. It's a low stretch. Uh, just like this, this one here is tied off with a yellow hair rig, a white hair rig, and a hot pink uh, 
uh, spoon on it. And then this one, I have a clear monofilament from uh, Catfish Sumo. And these are Thompson hair rigs with a blue with silver, another blue with silver. And like I say, the uh, Catfish Sumo silver spoon. And uh, I start off like that, and then it's got the uh, game changer rigs on there. I start off with that, then I figure out, if I start catching them, which, which color I catch them on the most. So yesterday I had a white, a blue, with a silver spoon. I'm sorry, I had a silver spoon with a yellow and a blue. And they just kept hitting the uh, chartreuse yellow color. So I swapped the spoon over to chartreuse and I had a hair jig that was uh, yellow and I was catching them two at a time. So sometimes you gotta just see what they're hitting. I talked to a friend of mine today. He said that he couldn't even catch them on chartreuse. He was using silver. So that's the things to do. And remember, always be versatile. Uh, get you some good hair jigs. If you've got a color that you really like and want them custom built, uh, hit up my buddy over at Double Hook Angling or Thompson Outdoors and more and man they'll get you some rigs for sure and if you want spoons for Catfish Sumo if you go hit up Catfish Sumo uh, and uh, he's on Facebook and it's CatfishSumo.com put in TSO10 and you'll get 10% off so just remember that also but uh, after we catch them then we've got to start trying to vacuum seal them and what we do with that is you need a big roll of paper towels I have a vacuum sealer. This is the cheapest one you can get. Food saver. The cheapest one you can get. Uh, you got to have a roll of bags and a pair of scissors. And what I do is I pre cut mine ahead of time. And once I pre cut them ahead of time, then you can come in here and, like I say, mine's cheap. It doesn't roll out, seal it, cut it at the same time. I just take and uh, lock it in hit seal and it starts sealing it. And what I do is I seal every one of them up ahead of time on the bottom. That gives you plenty of, uh, this thing will heat up and it's faster if you do it that way. Then you don't have your skipjack out of the ice as long either. So that's what I do when I'm getting ready. I've got all these sealed up. This one's done now. You can see the bottom sealed off, a little line across the bottom. So we're ready to start messing with skipjack. Just start shoving them in there. Nope, we're not gonna start shoving them in there because you want skipjack dried off. And what I mean by that is you do not want to put a skipjack in a vacuum seal bag. You want, to, you want to take and get all the slime off of it. So what I do is I make a bed of paper towel. The wind's horrible today, guys, so. But I'll open up my, you know what else I got? Just thought about it too, a pair of gloves. Man, if these things get slimy, and uh, I've got paper towels there, but just to keep from getting it everywhere and taking three days to wear to stink off your hands, you can always get you a pair of thin plastic gloves and put them right on just like that. Get you another one. Maybe I won't tear holes. Put them on just like that. Boy, I'm telling you what, the wind was going crazy. And guys, we got some big old skip jack. And what I try to do, if I got enough room in there, we're going to see. I'm going to straighten him out. Hey. All right, come back here. Sorry, guys, like I say, the wind is blowing today. Oh, there went the paper towels. We'll, we'll wind up on the bloopers here. All right. So I'm going to take you, wipe these things down, get them real dry, flip them over, wipe them down again. Don't be uh, afraid to. Uh, keep getting paper towels. I'll use a roll of paper towels doing this, guys. That's just all there are to it. You do not want to put them in that vacuum seal all slimy and wet. So 
So uh, that's what I do. All right, now then we're gonna get the vacuum seal back. Open it up. I say these. Woo! There goes the paper towels again. The wind is howling. I tried to get out here behind it, but don't look like it's working for me too good. That's all right. We're gonna work with it. Just slide him in head first. And he's way too big to put two in there with him, and I've got to cut actually some of his tail off. So, what I'll do is, because he's a little bit long, I'll slide him out. We'll slide him out of here. Cut just a little bit of the tail off. I always want a pair of scissors just for that. Slide him back in there. Put him in the back and seal, lock it up. Boom, hit vacuum. While that one's vacuuming up, you can take the second one, move that out of the way, and uh, what we'll do is put a nose skip neck up right here. Whoo, that wind's blowing. We'll put another skip jack up here and uh, stick him in there. He's already been dried off like I said a while ago. He's a little long again. Take the scissors. Cut that tail off. Boom. That one's vacuum sealed up. I got a five gallon bucket somewhere. Here it is. It's sealed tight. I'm just gonna stick it in that five gallon bucket. Turn this rascal back around. Put that one in. Hit vacuum. Pop this skip jack off real good. Got that one wiped off good. We're gonna throw another one up here. These things are froze. Always keep ice on them and drain the water off of them. I leave the cockpit open on them where all the water drains out of them. It's the only way to do it, do it right. That way you don't have any water on them. So this one's done vacuum sealing. Once again, I uh, got it tight. We're gonna stick that one in there. I uh, got this one dried off. So, we will take, stick him right in there. Vacuum him right up. Maybe you see that vacuum sealer to go there. Well, that's a vacuuming up. I gotta go over here and get the paper towels. I tell you what, it'd be a lot nicer if the wind was not blowing so hard today that we didn't have to fight keeping everything on the table. But it is what it is, and we're going to do what we do to keep it going. Perfectly vacuumed up. He's freezing cold. We're going to drop him down in that five-gallon bucket. We're going to get another skip jack out. The reason I get him ahead like that, that way he'll be drying off while I'm doing this one. Once again, he's getting sealed up while he is. We will get out another skip. Vacuum seal to perfection, guys. Another one to go in the bucket. The, when you put them in this bucket, I'm putting them in 
head down where I can stack them in there tight. Plus, they're keeping each other cold. So, do not let these things cool off at all if you can help it. What I'll do is do that bucket full and go put them in the freezer right then. All right. Once again, these are only six inch bags. So, uh, you can't get as many in them. I've got a wider one in there. But, uh, and it's just aggravating sometimes to mess with. I'd rather use these narrow ones. Cut this tail off again. Tail's cut right off. Ooh, the wind slowed down a little bit. I don't know what's going on. All right, we're gonna flatten him out as tight as we can. Put him right there. Boom, hit vacuum. Make sure you keep wiping these fish down. Make sure they're good and dry. That's very important. To make sure these are good and dry. That way they won't get freezer burnt. Vacuum sealing. Make sure they don't get freezer burnt also. So guys, that's how it's done. I got several here. I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little bit of something. I say, when you're out there skip, fishing for skipjack, uh, make sure if you're not getting bites and you're seeing people catch them, switch over or put multiple jigs, whatever's legal in your state. Uh, we're, we're legal to have three. So make sure uh, you get those and get them going. And uh, try different colors. You might change up how you do things. For sure. Go faster, slow down. Do different things whenever you're trying to catch these skip that. Because some days they want them uh, shallow, some days they want them deep. Some days they want them, uh, those jigs running faster. Some days they want them slower. So work and see what they want. Sometimes they just want you to twitch it as you're reeling in. So try different things. But I hope you enjoyed this. This I'm not saying this is the perfect way to do it. I'm saying this is how Daryl Morris does it. So guys, uh, if you want to, leave us a comment. Let us know how you do it, what you catch. Hey, and let us know what bait you use in your area. Uh, whether it's shad, skipjack, bluegill. Leave it in the comments let us know. Also, if you don't mind, hit that button and let us uh, and, uh, hit the like button and uh, the subscribe button. Uh, and share us out too if you can. Anyway, I love everybody out there. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. And we'll catch you later at a later date. God bless everybody.